Welcome back everyone. So today's problem is going to be based on mechanics. So we have a small mass that is put at the end of an ideal string whose length is 8a and one end of the string is at o and it is completely stretched out and the total length is again 8a. The side length of the cube is a. So it's given that the mass m is given a velocity v perpendicular to the string. So we have to find the time after which the mass will strike the cube. Okay, so let's begin with the discussion. Okay, so this is how the situation is looking like. So as we uh, impart a velocity of v a perpendicular to the string, what will happen is uh, this mass m is going to be is going to perform circular motion, something like this. And let's say at some intermediate distance, the particle is over here. So, and let's say its velocity is something like this. Okay guys, so as we know, the mass is going to perform circular motion. One thing is certain, the instantaneous velocity and the string tension are going to be perpendicular to each other at all times, which basically means the instantaneous power delivered by tension, which is T dot V is going to be zero. And hence tension will not perform any work on the mass. And hence by work energy theorem, we can say that the velocity of the mass will remain constant, which makes the problem very simple because uh, now it's simply going to be a problem of uniform circular motion. So at the starting of the motion, the radii uh, you know, of the circular path is 7a and our mass will keep rotating in this circle for an angle of 90 degrees. And when the angle becomes 90 degree, let's call the original this point as a, let's call this point as b. So now b is going to be the new hinge. And now the mass will rotate in a circle of radii 6a. So the time it takes for the mass to rotate by the first 90 degrees, let's call it T1. So it's going to be the angle theta, which is pi by two, divided by the omega or the angular velocity of the revolution, which is simply the velocity divided by the distance of the mass from the hinge, which in the first case, it is 7a. So, and similarly for T2, which is basically the time it takes the mass to go from this point over here and cover another 90 degrees. So the only thing that is gonna change here is the radii of the path right? Because the velocity will remain the same. So now we can clearly see a pattern. So the total time t, let's say it is pi a divided by 2e times 7 plus 6 plus 5 and so on until 1. And the sum of the first seven natural numbers is 7 times 7 plus 1 by 2. And after solving, this comes out to be 14 pi a divided by v. So this would be our required answer, which is option B. So that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, do hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And that's it. Thanks for watching.